In today's video, we're gonna talk about whether or not you should use radio ads for your business. Now, we've done an entire episode or two on our podcast, Midwest Mindset, about this very topic. Without getting too much into the weeds, we're gonna back up just a little bit and look at what we can actually track, what are the metrics, and what types of businesses and budgets, let's be honest, should actually be investing their advertising dollars on an old school medium like radio. We're joined in studio by Matt Falcon and Anne-Marie Faraday of Refine Marketing to talk about whether or not your business should be using radio ads. It's time to play my favorite game. Uh, <laughs> should you spend money on it or not? And now I come from radio and television. It's my first love. Um, but people make decisions on where they spend money on their ads based off of a lot of the wrong reasons, right? Nostalgia. Yeah. I grew up listening to yeah. radio. It's still got to be a thing, right? Uh, or, you know, television. It's like Saturday Night Live. It's the big time, right? It's the news. You know, it's or everybody's tuning in. But we just don't consume content in the same ways on the same platforms anymore. Like, Are there any of those that we should avoid? I think... Um Impressions only, looking at impressions only can be a bit of a red flag. Um, you want to make sure that there's at least some kind of click-through rate, right? Because otherwise, otherwise, you're, my concern is that they're not really viewable impressions, right? If it's something where there's you're not getting any clicks whatsoever, then it might just be trash traffic. Another big thing to look at is engaged sessions. So this is a Google Analytics 4 metric, which hopefully everyone has got their Google Analytics 4 up and going because Universal is no longer tracking data. Uh, but it's a new metric on Google Analytics 4 that's basically like, okay, so your your display campaign drove 20,000 people to the website, right? How many of them do they consider engaged? They clicked around or mm -hmm. they scrolled, they read something. Um, there's a few different ways that Google measures it. But if you're, if you're having a huge delta between your total sessions and your engaged sessions, that's another big red flag that you're getting like bot traffic or like, fat finger accidental clicking and type back stuff. up just to quick to, quick to for people who don't like so an impression yeah. is basically it was put in front of somebody exactly and then engaged session is what you really want that's yes. the next step where it's like they saw it they went there and they actually clicked around it can vary a little bit platform to platform but an, an impression without a click can indicate that you're not hitting the right audience mm -hmm. right a click that becomes a session that is not an engaged session could indicate that your messaging is good, but the content that you're driving them to isn't engaging enough for them to want to stick around. And then an engaged session that doesn't become a conversion might indicate that, that there's an issue with your landing page in terms of like how you're drawing attention mm -hmm. to the call to action. Yeah, yeah a good um, rule of thumb is they say around 10% of the engaged sessions that you have on your site should convert to some kind of conversion. And if that's not happening for you, then you need to take a look at like the UX, the experience on mm -hmm. your website. Are you making it really hard? Like what, what conversion do you want people to take? And are you making it really easy for them? We always recommend, I mean, it might seem old school, but like the phone number or like call needs to be very prevalent. And also we still really like having a form on that main page that you send people to. So it's really easy for them to provide their name and information to take that next step. Yeah. Is radio, is that a place that a small business owner, let's say they have 10 grand, 20 grand for their annual paid advertising spend, should they even waste their time or is it a smart investment? I think at that level, it's maybe not the best investment, but we have seen really strong returns from radio, particularly in promoting events. Mm -hmm. So having like a live remote, um, you know, like typically with that package, they'll include se several um, ads, like promoting it leading up to that. We've seen some really strong results with that. I think it's also helpful for businesses that, or, or nonprofits in particular that we work with, that want to reach more disadvantaged communities. Um, radios can be a really good spot to hit them too. They're less likely to be mm. kind of terminally online with yeah. like other people, so. Yeah, and I think it's a, a great, if you have a very simple call to action and a uh, message that just requires you to stay in front of people on a regular basis, like a heating and cooling business or a window mm -hmm. repair business, mm -hmm. um, I think that, that it can be a great tool for them too. 